This short video shows you some of the features of the new Digital Modern Languages K-10 syllabus. Access the syllabus at curriculum.nsw.edu.au or you can just Google NSW curriculum and it will be the first link which appears. Make sure you then bookmark the page because you'll be using it a lot. You can see you can access by primary or secondary but we're going to access it by going here to learning areas and then clicking on language and there you will see all the K-10 language syllabuses. The syllabuses which are available in the new digital format have the red line on top of the box and then you click on Modern Languages K-10 Syllabus and here it is. The Modern Languages K-10 Syllabus is organised as a framework that can be used to teach any modern language in New South Wales. As you can see, the syllabus is now in digital format and you can find all the elements of the syllabus by these tabs across the top of the page. In this mid blue bar, you can see there's a drop down arrow. And when we click on that, you'll see the implementation timeline. We use the new syllabus to teach from 2024 in K-6, the mandatory 100 hours, and any elective courses beginning in 2024. Let's take a look at the new syllabus now, starting with course overview. This provides some key information as it relates to the syllabus, including course requirements, how the syllabus is structured, information about access content points, which are new and support students with significant intellectual disability, life skills, information about how much time to spend on outcomes and content, and how the macro skills and the languages, systems and culture align to outcomes. At the very bottom, you'll see information about learner proficiency as the syllabus provides examples for beginner, intermediate and advanced learners. Going back up to the tabs at the top, we have Rationale, then Aim, and Outcomes. In the Outcomes tab, you can click on Compare Outcomes and select the ones you want. For example, Stage 4 and 5, click on Done, and you now have the outcomes you want to see. You can see there are three outcomes for stage four and three outcomes for stage five. We can select show related outcomes and this brings up the related life skills outcomes. There are then two ways to access the content for each outcome. We can click on the content tab here or we can do it this way by selecting show aligned content. You then get these hyperlinks under each outcome. We can click on one of those and all the content appears. When viewing the content, we can see the focus area on the left in dark blue, in this case interacting. The stage four outcome is then underneath. In this case, ML for modern languages, four for stage four, INT for interacting, and all our outcomes end with zero one as we only have one outcome per focus area per stage. The outcome itself is exchanges information and opinions in a range of familiar contexts by using culturally appropriate language. On the right hand side, we can see the content. You can see there's a short explanation about interacting at the top, as the syllabus has made explicit that interacting is now primarily through oral language. Then you have the content, headings, and dot points. All of this is considered essential learning in order for students to be able to demonstrate the outcome. A really nice feature of the digital syllabus is that you can use, to, um, you can 
see examples. And examples appear beneath each content point. And this can be toggled on and off. Another feature we really like is show teaching advice. Teaching advice is available for each stage and focus area. Over on the left, you can see the two remaining focus areas, understanding texts and creating texts. And each of these is set out in the same way. To best suit your needs and context, the digital format is customizable. So you can select only the stages you are programming for. In edit view, for example, if you were programming for only stage four and five, you can select those two and then also choose the syllabus elements that you want. We want all of them. So we select all of them and then click on update. And then we see only the outcomes that we have selected. In the assessment tab, you can see advice on assessment, the common grade scale and the course performance descriptors. There is also a glossary and finally, the teaching and learning support. This has downloadable documents with generic and language specific support. At the moment, there is support for French and Nessa will continue to add more support here. It is important to know that you can also download the syllabus and print a hard copy. You can select the stages and elements that you want. And then download as either a Word document or PDF as preferred. If using the syllabus as a hard copy, it is critical to, to continue to check the online version for relevant additional teaching and learning support or other information that may be updated or provided.